What is good everybody, welcome back to another My Name Toys video. Today we are back with a brand new WWE Action Figure Gallery of Reveals. Man, Mattel dropped it on us today as we knew they would here. And I am uploading this on a Wednesday night actually. It's later in the evening time if you're seeing this at the time that I'm posting it. I am posting it very late at night here on Wednesday night. But hopefully you'll wake up to it or whatever the case is, man. But I wanted to pop this thing up as soon as possible. But my schedule is very hectic throughout the day. So I figured I had to get on here and make a video about these reveals. Like I said, I would, man. But we got some pretty good stuff. I want to dive into all of it with you, cover it, talk about it, of course, and just dive the hell in, man. So let's start things off with probably the figure that I'm probably the most on the fence about. I'm very just in the middle of the road about it, man. Ever since we saw this revealed to us out in LA for WrestleMania weekend over at the Mattel Design Center, we have the Ultimate Edition Kurt Angle. Now, I have a lot of things to talk about this. This is one of the figures I had on my wish list for a very long time. You guys know that I love Kurt Angle. He's one of my favorites of all time. Having an Ultimate Edition of him was a goal of mine, but when we saw the prototype, of this figure, I didn't even know who it was when I saw the prototype. I was like, who is this supposed to be, man? Who is this? And then, of course, we found out, and I was like, oh, just a weird-looking formula, right? So I thought the formula looked a bit weird, and now we finally have what it kind of, you know, pretty much is going to look like. It should be arriving very soon. I like the gear on it. I, I have mixed feelings, man. Let's just dive into all of my different thoughts about this figure. Of course, having an Ultimate Edition Kurt Angle was on the bucket list. Been wanting one for a very long time, but I am not a fan of this formula, man. This figure just looks ridiculous, man. Look at this figure shot right here. This just looks ridiculous to me. I like the blue color. I like the singlet. I like the attire they went with. It's very unique, all these things. Not my go-to attire, but still certainly a, a passable attire here. It is the Batista style torso here is what we're looking at. It's the same one they use on the Legends Eddie Guerrero, and I just do not like it here. Just look at the, if you just look at the head and then look at just these proportions of this chest to the shoulders, to the torso, like this is just a... I don't like it, man. It just looks off to me. It just looks off to me in all kinds of ways. Definitely going to be doing a torso swap on this guy. And the only reason that, you know, a torso swap is up in the air for me is because I don't want the legs to look too big compared to the to the torso. I think the Ultimate Edition Macho Man torso could work. I think the Rick Rude torso could possibly work. You know, maybe the Randy Orton torso might could work. You know, I, I'm all for experimenting on surgery, seeing what works here. But for me personally, this Kurt Angle just looks ridiculous without the same on. Now, you put the singlet on there, and it doesn't look that bad, right? It actually looks okay, but I think that putting a different torso on there is going to make this figure look so much better. I think that the head sculpt where he's stern looking really doesn't look like Kurt Angle to me. I, I like the entrance greats reuse here. That's probably my favorite head sculpt of the three. The crying head sculpt, I don't know, man. It just doesn't look like Kurt Angle to me, and I know it's supposed to be him crying or whatever, but I think the smiley face, the entrance great style face is definitely the go-to for me. The stern one, I don't know, man. It it just looks like the, I, I don't know, man. I'm just not really feeling that head sculpt. And then the crying face, it, while it is a cool addition, it's just not my go-to head sculpt there, even though it could make for some cool moments and displays. I just do not like the torso, man. I think that there's so many better options here. But I am excited for the figure in the sense of having a Kurt Angle that's going to be super posable. But these, this whole upper is coming off, man. I'm replacing the arms, the shoulders, the torso. And I'm going to leave the lower half and see what we can come up with. Hopefully, it'll be good. But the medals look good. WWF title looks good. Everything, I, I just, God man this figure could be so much better and I think with the singlet on it doesn't look as bad similar to when you put the shirt on the Eddie Guerrero Legends figure doesn't look as bad but without it on there it just doesn't look good man but we're gonna fix it up hopefully it'll be good I do have a lot of these coming I think I have like four of these on the way just because I was so excited for it so we will see what comes of that experimenting and see what works the best but nonetheless it is a Kurt Angle figure and I love Kurt Angle this is just prime era it just hits me right in the sweet spot but damn that torso doesn't look good Next up, we have another Ultimate Edition, man. It is going to be the Bianca Belair Ultimate Edition here, man. And the Bianca Belair looks pretty solid. I love this gear. I think it looks really good. Head sculpts look pretty solid to me. I don't know if they look as good as, like, her Elite 91 figure or whatever it was. At least the stern face. It looks okay, I guess. But she does have the glasses. She's got her cool furry jacket. She's got a lot of cool stuff going on here. And I love the gear. It's almost, like, Harlem Heat inspired, almost. And it just looks sweet. I think this is going to be a great Ultimate Edition. Looks really really good it looks just as good as her elite figures do so I have no you know quarrels about it I think this figure is going to be really bad a and I do enjoy the figure here wish we got a little bit more right she just has a jacket she has some mini accessories but two interchangeable heads you know you don't get like a title you don't get you know a bunch of different head sculpts so you know a little bit light there which kind of is is weird but at the same time I am waiting on the figure and I'm excited for it but we do have the Bianca Belair ultimate edition and then we finished our ultimate or no we have two more ultimates we have the third in this 
set, the Ultimate Edition 19 set. It's going to be McDonald's Bobby Lashley here, and this looks okay. So see, when you look at this torso on this Bobby, it looks a lot more proportional. Am I insane? It just looks way more proportional. I don't know what's going on here, and maybe it's just because it just works for Bobby. Like, Bobby has a gigantic torso, and I guess this torso works for certain guys, but on other guys, it just makes them look ridiculous, man. I, I, I don't know what's going on there, but head sculpt looks good. Shirt is nice. I'm looking forward to the McDonald's All-American Bobby Lashley Ultimate Edition. U.S. title looks good. Gear looks good. Head sculpts, that screaming head sculpt. Been waiting on a Bobby there. You get the smirking. You get the pissed off. You get the yelling. All for it. I think this Bobby Lashley kicks all the A. Shirt looks good. It, just a beast. I'm really looking forward to this Bobby Lashley, even though, you know, it's very similar to his Elites, but it's still a cool Ultimate to see here. Get some new life into the Ultimate Edition line. I'm all for that all day of the week. And then the last Ultimate Edition that we have is going to be the Target Exclusive Ultimate Edition, which is going to be referring to the Ultimate Warrior here. Now, they did show us, like, new product shots of these. I think these were up on Target a while back, but this looks fantastic, man. The coloration you're seeing here, the duster, the colors, just incredible. Like, it's almost like an optical illusion. It looks like they're shading in the skin tone, even though there's not. And another thing about this is, again, they're using the same torso that they put on the Kurt Angle, the same torso they put on the Bobby Lashley, but this just looks way more proportionate. It just looks much better to me rather than having that on Kurt Angle. I don't know what the hell it is on the Kurt Angle, on the Eddie Guerrero. Certain guys, it just does not work. But when you dress this warrior up, you're looking at it, all the bright colorations and stuff. I mean, this guy looks like a beast. This is a cool looking Ultimate Warrior. This may be the best Ultimate Warrior Mattel's made. It's definitely up there for sure, and it's probably the best Ultimate Edition for sure. I just like this a lot. I think it looks really clean, but we won't know those things until we get it in hand. Don't know if it's up for pre-order yet, but it is Target exclusive, so definitely go over there and get your hands on that one. But there is the Ultimate Warrior. That is the last of our Ultimate Editions. But now we're going to dive into some Elite figures, and we got to see a bunch of different Elites of upcoming pay-per-view Build-A-Figure ways, which we're going to get into. Starting up first, we do have the Survivor Series Build-A-Figure set with the British Bulldog from 99, and it is going to be the Kevin Owens figure up here. You guys know I love Kevin Owens. It is a repaint figure, but... It is the red shirt. We've been waiting on the red shirt. I mean, this is pretty much your, you know, your Elite 101 KO, your Elite 90, whatever the hell, Elite 91 KO. I mean, they're very, very similar. Double jointed arms, black tape, black and red shorts with a red shirt. Really cool repaint. It's enough meat on the bone, I think, to grab it. I'm definitely grabbing it. You guys know I love Kevin Owens, one of my favorites in the world. So it's easy cop for me, but I am enjoying finally getting the red shirt. Still waiting on them to to get away from the rubber and go and go to a cloth shirt for KO. But that remains to be seen. Maybe an Ultimate Edition down the road would be really cool. Actually, that gives me some fantasy booking ideas. What if you had interchangeable arms, ones with tattoos and ones without tattoos? And then you had, like, his NXT shirt in cloth. And then you could have, like, one of his more modern shirts in cloth. And you could interchange those with uh, with the KO and make, like, an NXT version or a modern version with and without tattoos. Kind of a cool thing there. But moving on, you also have the Shawn Michaels. Now, weird things going on with the Shawn Michaels that we're going to discuss. First of all, you got to talk about the tights. They did fix the tights. Now, I do think that these tights aren't, like, perfect color, to be honest with you. I feel like they're a bit too, like, sandy or greenish brown instead of the, like, darker brown that they are supposed to be. However, you guys do know that at San Diego Comic-Con, they did give it to us way too dark. It was black, pretty much. It was, it was black. They gave it to us black. And so, maybe, you know, had it come in at a, you know, a different brown, maybe if it showed up like this at San Diego Comic-Con, maybe they could have came back and said, you know, that, that brown was too light. We need to have it darker, and then it would have came in darker. It probably needs to be more of the, the cowboy boots that you're seeing here. It probably needs to be more that color, to be honest with you. However, there are more things that we need to discuss about the Shawn Michaels. So, of course, the tights are not the complete accurate color, but I'll definitely, I'd rather them be this color than black, right? I'd rather them be a brownish color than a, like just a not just completely black tone, of course. But also this head sculpt, I feel like they just cannot capture Shawn Michaels a lot. You got we've discussed this multiple times on the channel. I think that you know you're better off popping probably a Jax Ruthless Aggression style Shawn Michaels head sculpt on there. However, I am excited for the figure and stuff like that. And then these legs look a bit weird to me as well. Now people were speculating that these may be edge legs, and they kind of do give me edge leg vibes. That like at first I thought they may be the Legend Sean legs. That would have probably been better because no, no matter what leg mold you used, you were going to end up with too long of boots because you need like a Christian or a Mankind lower leg to plug in here. 
And then you could put the cowboy boots that come with, you know, Hulk Hogan and other guys like that, like the Cactus Jack figure. Like, those cowboy boots that come on that, those are the cowboy boots you need to come in here with because now the lower legs are too tall. His boots were not this tall in this matchup. They look like regular cowboy boots, man. They don't come all the way up there. You know, they're a little bit shorter and whatnot. And so then you have that, like, weird thing at the top where it's like the top of a kick pad, but now it's the top of the boots. And it just looks kind of all weird to me. So these legs are not pinless, so we're definitely going to be getting there in, in there doing surgery. And it may be... A edge legs. If it's edge legs, that means he's not on ball joints, which actually kind of stinks, but we're going to do some different things. We'll figure out what we can do here, but nonetheless, I am excited that they made the, the tights brown. That's definitely a step in the right direction, but we still do need to do some different surgeries and stuff, but nonetheless, I am excited for this. Shawn Michaels been waiting on it for a really long time, and of course, we're going to edit it up, but yeah, the boots are too long with that mold, and then, uh, you know, the pants color isn't completely accurate, and you know, you are, we may be dealing with some edge legs, which is very weird, but nonetheless, I don't know why they would go with that, but let's move on, man. We also have a look at the Charlotte figure. Now, this is just a kind of a standard Charlotte. We do have the SmackDown Women's Championship. Charlotte, I like the braided hair. Head sculpt looks very Elite 92-esque. You do have the black gear in here, which is pretty cool. Kind of a plain Jane figure. You know, I don't know how well this is going to do at retail. I feel like the Elite 92 Charlotte was shelf warming a little bit. So, just painting it black, I don't know how that's going to do, but we shall see. I think she comes with the lower legs of the British Bulldog, so you do have all of that. And then we also had a look at Jerry the King Lawler. Now, this is a really nice figure. I thought his Elite 82 figure was pretty damn solid, but this one with the black jacket, it is a rubber jacket, which I don't like, but if you do take that off, you do have a nice singlet king here in the red and black, which looks pretty clean. He's got double jointed arms. I kind of like this for a commentator lawler. You know, it's not perfect by any stretch, but I still like it as a commentary lawler. You got the, you know, you got, you got the crown slash king's hat in there. Head sculpt looks good. This is a solid figure here, but yeah, I wish the, I wish the jacket was not rubber, of course, in this year, but Nonetheless, I do like the Jerry Lawler. We'll have to see how that comes when we get it in hand. It looks to be the Bobby Heenan style torso on that guy. And then we do have the Build-A-Figure, which is going to be the British Bulldog here. Now, to me, this looks like a new torso, man. This looks like a new torso. It's not quite that overly jacked. It's not quite the Seth Rollins style. It's not quite, you know, that Bobby Roode style. It's not quite the Macho Man style. This looks to be a new torso mold, which is pretty interesting here. I like this torso mold. I think they could use this on some other guys. It's kind of a mix between the newer style John Cena one with the older one. It's a bit of a hybrid torso here, but it gives you a bit of a lean look here. Look, looking pretty good there. The British Bulldog looks good, even though his head looks a bit... I feel like his jaw is so damn long, but nonetheless, it looks pretty good. I think this will go good here, and the pants on this guy look immaculate. I really like it. It's like almost like photo tech, how damn good the dry brushing looks here on these jeans. But we're moving things on along. After the Build-A-Figure Survivor Series wave, we do have the Royal Rumble wave looking at the Brock Lesnar figure here. This head sculpt, not my favorite, man. He looks like he just woke up, and you were like pouring water water on his head or something like that. I don't know how I feel about that. At least at certain angles, it looks off, but at other angles, it looks okay. But this is pretty much your Elite 96 Brock Lesnar. At least that's what it reminds me of. You know, you do have that newer head sculpt on there, but it is essentially the Elite 96, but he does have the braided ponytail in there. It's pinless legs. You get some cool additions here, but very, very similar to the last one, but it is going to be a cop from me. We also have the Batista figure here. Really nice moment here from uh, his win at the Royal Rumble. Very nice Elite. You get this, like, evolution style Batista here right as he was breaking into his singles ultimate edition head sculpt great looking head sculpt this lo head sculpt looks so damn good this is a torso that works perfect this is a great formula for Batista looking like an absolute animal a and all the puns intended man this guy looks great I love this figure really looking forward to this Batista elite we also have Beth Phoenix here which also looks really good one of the better looking women's figures of the year I think got her double jointed knees arms should look good head sculpt looks really really phenomenal you get the Phoenix graphic on there with the teal added in really sweet figure right here. I really enjoy the Beth Phoenix figure. Getting a updated Beth Phoenix figure after a long time is really nice, so we'd love to see Beth Phoenix here represented in the collection. And then finishing out our wave for the Build-A-Figure Virgil, we do have the Ridge Holland figure. Now, I do feel like his torso is a bit too skinny or lean for me, but this jacket's phenomenal. Comes with a slew of accessories. You know, it's pretty solid. I think it's pretty solid, even though I don't really agree with the torso choice here. I feel like he may be a little bit more hefty than this. I still like the figure. Kind of pretty good you know, I'm looking forward to getting more characters in the line. Even though I wasn't the biggest Ridge Holland guy, I still like the figure. It looks pretty solid here, and I'm looking forward to the accessories. Lots of st different stuff here. And then finishing up, we have Indiana Hoosiers Virgil here with the striped pants, which looks so damn good. Like the striped pants, love the Virgil figure. This looks to be that same torso we're getting from the, you know, the British Bulldog in the Build-A-Figure set. Great looking head sculpt. Haven't had a Virgil figure in a really long time. Stripes look phenomenal. Virgil looks good here. Really like this Virgil. I'm looking forward to building this figure. 
figure here, and I don't think I ever got the first version, the Toys R Us exclusive, so getting this version is going to be a lot better for me, and I may put somebody else on, in these Indiana pants, man, because I really dig the Indiana pants, you know, flip some different stuff in there. I, I don't know, this is just, these are sweet tights. I, I really enjoy these, so Virgil's looking pretty damn clean here. We had that full wave, and then this is a really sweet wave in terms of packaging. We have the WrestleMania 40 Nicholas Build-A-Figure Elite Set, and you guys are seeing these packages and stuff. This John Cena figure looks phenomenal in this packaging. Really love the green and the Philadelphia Eagle vibes that you're getting here, of course. WrestleMania 40 in Philadelphia this year. Hope to be there. This looks so damn good. This John Cena figure looks elite. All, all puns intended again. You have the green bands. Another thing that's weird is that they use the older John Cena torso on the modern shorts, which is something that I think we've only seen one other time before, which I thought was just really weird why they did that. I don't know why they did that, but it's an interesting choice for sure, but it doesn't uh, affect anything. I think the figure looks really good. I was worried that he wasn't going to come with the shirt and stuff, but throwing in that shirt really completes the figure, and it looks really damn good. I'm really excited for the Cena, and then we also have the Rock figure here, which looks, I mean, damn good. If you guys saw my ranking of every Rock figure, if you didn't watch that, you need to go check it out. We ranked every Rock Elite. This figure did come in in the Go Buy It section. I mean, this figure looks so damn good. It's a perfect modern Rock, great torso. The tights are wrong. They did give him the wrong tights, but he's got the championship. This head sculpt for the Rock is phenomenal. This may be, if you if you updated the tattoo, if you got rid of the Brahma Bull and put the updated tattoo on there, which probably going to happen, right? If he comes back and fights Roman, we're going to get that figure with the updated tattoo on this formula. And this is a perfect representation of the Rock in modern day on a figure. Perfect torso, tats look good, head sculpt's phenomenal, checks all the boxes, WWE Championship, just great stuff. Really great stuff here from The Rock. And then we also have Trish Stratus. I mean, pretty much a redo of her Hall of Fame figure. I feel like this one photo looks weird, like her stomach just looks like she's almost like 2D almost. It's kind of weird looking, but I mean, this is the Hall of Fame figure upgraded. She's got, you know, double jointed legs. She's got double jointed arms. So it is all the updates, but you know, something I'd love to see is an update to the kick pads and like giving them new elite feet instead of the basic kick pads over and over. But this figure looks a little bit weird with these like hips to these legs to the to the flatness of the I don't know you guys can let me know what you think at least in these photos it looks a bit off to me between the hips and going into different stuff you guys can just let me know what you think there but the, uh, the last figure in the set is going to be Pat McAfee now I remember back at San Diego Comic Con I felt like a lot of people were dragging this set but you know I, I like some of the stuff going on in this set you know I, I like some of the stuff going on here I think that overall it's going to be okay the Pat McAfee looks really good I feel like his arms are probably a bit too big in my opinion but I love Pat McAfee I like the formula here outside of the arm size, and it looks like they're pretty much using like a Stone Cold Steve Austin from the neck down, like the you know like that ruthless aggression elite. Looks like what they're doing here. Uh, they just uh, added that little knee sculpt, unless that's just painted on, which it totally could be. It could be paint apps instead of actually sculpting in. But he's got the black shirt. Comes with the Nicholas parts. Got the necklace. Solid looking Pat McAfee figure. And then we have the Build-A-Figure Nicholas, which is crazy. Actually got to meet him out at San Diego Comic-Con. Really cool kid. You know, all the different things. It was, was a great time. And this figure looks really damn good. I like the, you know, the, the shirt and everything like that. And the Dominic Mysterio Build-A-Figure kids figure was really awesome as well. Really poseable and all those different things you like out of an action figure. This is a great figure. I like this a lot. He's got the striped on the pants. Really unique stuff going on here with the Nicholas figure and all those different things. So that was our Elite figures diving in all those different, you know, uh, Build-A-Figure sets with the pay-per-views and all of those things. But we also got to see some basic figures. And before we finish up, I do want to get into these basics. We have newer basic articulation. Really looking forward to getting, you know, those first basic basics in to talk about those and see what the hell's going on with the you know all the different new basics with the new articulation added but we do have honky tonk here great looking head sculpt he's got his blue gear and then there's also a version with the red gear which is going to be the chase i think but these look pretty good you got a new head sculpt on there really excited to see what these basics are all about of course they are still single jointed knees and stuff but Having that extra little articulation, maybe these won't feel like something I just want to throw out in the middle of the street to get run over. So that's always a good sign to see. We also have this new Hulk Hogan here who, I mean, he's border, he's damn near borderline an elite figure here, man. He's got the sculpted torso shirt. He's got this nice looking head sculpt. He's got the old basic arm. So you get the rotation on the bicep with the single jointed arm. Then you have the ball joint legs. I mean, this guy's a pretty much an elite, man. He's also got that sculpted shirt on there. Really unique Hulk Hogan. They always go above and beyond for him, man. That's crazy. I don't know why he couldn't just keep that across the board, but you know what? Who am I? You know what I'm saying? The ripped up shirt looks good. You got like workout videotape, VHS, cassette. Hulk Hogan going on here, which is really cool. We also got to see Undertaker here with a, with a nice looking figure. You got the tongue out head sculpt, which is great. He's got his ball joint legs on there, whatever. And this looks pretty solid. You know, of course, we don't know what these basics are all about. 
For all we know, they could be garbage, but hopefully they will check all the boxes that we're wanting to see out of the basic line. And we also got to see Top Dalla, which is his first time on the line and his last time on the line, at least at this juncture. Of course, released from WWE, but solid looking figure, you know? Wasn't a really a big fan of the guy, but you know, I don't like to see people let go, but this is an interesting looking figure, and I'll probably, if I saw this at uh, retail, I'd probably buy it, you know? And then the last figure we're talking about is going to be Charlotte, which is pretty much just a basic version of her Survivor Series Elite. Her hairstyle is a little bit different. You get some silver accents, but for the most part, not the, you know, not going to set the entire world on fire with this Charlotte basic, but you know, it is a Charlotte basis. So if you're interested in that, of course, go grab that, check that out. But that is pretty much going to wrap up what we got going here for WWE action figure news. I apologize that the video is up so late, but I definitely want to get it on here and post it because uh, you guys deserve it. You know, I want to get on here as soon as I got home. Had to had to hop on here and get all the things going. But anyways, man, that is pretty much going to wrap this video up. Hope you guys did enjoy. I'd love to know what you think of everything down in the comment section below. Definitely let me know your thoughts on all the figures. But before we get out of here, a huge shout out to our patron members of the MDT YouTube channel. Always appreciate those guys. Love you guys so very much for your continued support. If you guys are interested in that, check out the link in the description below. Still Slowly progressing on the office, man. Just such a project. Good God in heaven. And I'm painting the accent wall, which is just a holy shish. So ready to be done with that. But nonetheless, man, I'm getting out of here. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Instagram, Twitter, and TikTok at MyNameToys. I'll see you guys next time. Have a blessed one, and I'll catch you later. <laughs>